Good evening everybody and welcome to the video. My name is Samil Shah and welcome to another hands-on labs where we are going to learn today in this video how to move data from DynamoDB into Data Lake S3 so that we can essentially query this data using standard SQL. There might be a lot of scenarios you want to do this. Uh, you know, for example, you want to maintain one year of operational data on DynamoDB and the older data, maybe you want to archive, right? Or maybe you want to run some sort of analytical queries on other basically columns, right? So in those scenarios, having data on the data lake, dumping Athena on the top of that, and then you can build beautiful dashboard using QuickSight. This is essentially hands-on demo and lab where I'll be walking you with the code and we'll be also showing you about the infrastructure code. Everything is done and done essentially using serverless framework. So let's get started and I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, for this video, this is the table that I have and all the labs, are, all the lab code is there. So don't worry and let's focus on learning. I have a table that is essentially called my tables, right? And all, all that has basically has some data in DynamoDB, which we are essentially want to move to Data Lake. So the first thing that we will do, uh, please come on to the lab number 23. And again, I, as I said, I have provide, I'm going to provide you all the code, right? So the first thing that you want to do is you want to run the file called uh, publish uh, data.py. This will essentially create a DynamoDB table and publish some fake data. So we could perform our um, ETL job, right? So again, uh, I have ran the data, uh, sorry, I have ran the script and this essentially has populated my DynamoDB with some fake data, uh, as you can see in this uh, screen. All right, now let's move to the serverless uh, framework uh, and this is where all the magic happens, right? And I'll try my best to go one by one and show you what, what's going on. The first thing that I do is here, I'm creating a glue database. Uh, and again, the value is coming from an environment variable called DB name. So again, I'll show you that. So. Uh, that's my database name called sample db. So I want to create a glue database first. Okay. Uh, back to my YML file, I'm collapsing that. Now what this does is essentially, this is essentially a crawler that's going to crawl on the dynamo db table to essentially identify the schema. So this uh, crawler will essentially populate the metadata. Think of it that way. Uh, so here we are saying crawler as AWS glue. We provide the database name, we provide the crawler name. And remember, again, uh, I'm using all, um, and uh, every, I'm not hard coding, uh, essentially everything is in the ENV. Okay, so now what we are doing, essentially we are providing a role, a schema, and your target is my DynamoDB. So what this does is essentially, this will create essentially a catalog. So essentially this will identify the schema in the DynamoDB and essentially create a table in my glue uh, um, stuff, right? So that's that. And if I wanted to show you um, on my screen, hopefully. So here, if you if you see, uh, you'll have a, uh, you, you, you'll have a crawler named DynamoDB schema crawler. You will run that and what this will do is it will create a table called my table and essentially will populate the schema. So you need to run that. So uh, let's move on the code on the next section. Once uh, the schema is identified, we want to run a glue job, right? So now, which is where gluejob.py does the job for us, right? Uh, this is a very simple job. What it does is essentially reads the data. As you can see, it's reading the data from the catalog, right? So uh, applies a transformation. So again, in this case, I have three columns, right? Based on whatever columns you want to select, uh, essentially we are applying mapping here. And then the, here is my destination, which means glue job is going to run and take the data from DynamoDB and dump it on S3. Okay. Uh, so that is what it does. And after that, what we need to do is we are essentially have a simple glue crawler that's going to run on the data lake. So this will populate, uh, again, it, this will create essentially a new table, right? So uh, when you uh, essentially, uh, you know, I have already deployed the entire stack here. As you can see, this takes usually time. So I have deployed this uh, uh, in well in advance. And over here is my, uh, as you can see, I'm defining my uh, glue job. So this will essentially deploy my glue script to AWS. And th the goal is to try to avoid using console and write infrastructure as code, right? So again, uh, very easy here, we have a glue job, we have a script path, right? We're specifying the glue version, the role, maximum concurrency, number of workers, timeout, retry, and essentially my uh, local glue job file, which is called glue, uh, glue underscore job dot py. Now, uh, as, it, as easy as that, you will run this, uh, you know, we'll say SLS deploy. Now, what this will do is uh, you will see a database called sample db, and you will see two crawlers here. 
Now, in order to make this work, what you need to do is first you need to run this crawler. So you'll click on the blue button. I've already ran the crawler and this will populate a table here. So now when you go to table section, you will see my tables and you will see essentially the schema has been identified. Uh, going back to crawler, now once the schema has been identified, now click on job legacy. This is where your AWS glue job uh, will be there, right? Now you wanna click on action and then run job. So again, I have already run the job here as you can see, right? Uh, once the job is complete, now you want to go back to the crawlers and then you want to run the S3 crawler. Now, what this will do is essentially it will create a new table uh, in your uh, Glue data catalog, right? And now when you can go, now you can go to Athena, that is, uh, and I'm selecting my database as sample DB. And then here is my, you know, uh, table that was, uh, you know, populated by uh, glue crawler, right? And here you can see now I can query my DynamoDB data uh, in um, Athena using a standard SQL. There are other ways as well. You can use Athena federated query to query the data, but if you have a use case where you need to bring data from Dynamo to S3, this is how you would do it. Now, do remember when you try to run this project, uh, you might have to do a couple of changes here and, the, the, and I just wanted to uh, run by all the changes, right? So the changes that we are talking about is the S3 bucket, right? The bucket name has to be unique globally, right? So when you, again, when you clone the project and when you try to run this project, make sure, uh, again, in the ENV, uh, you need, uh, you essentially need um, an S3 bucket. So you might want to go and create that using a console or I, or I could have added in the YML file again. I could create a resource object, uh, right? I would, I can easily do that, right? So uh, you need, um, uh, as I said, right, um, the S3 bucket for glue job. So basically the glue, uh, the Spark job, the, the Python file, right? We need to deploy that somewhere, right? So uh, we need an S3 bucket for that. And then again, another S3 bucket is essentially um, where my data will be dumped, right? Uh, considering that, make sure you change um, uh, the path over here, right? So when you come to the code, make sure, if you have a different bucket name, make sure to change this, right? So uh, again, uh, you have to do some changes here if you're try going to try, try out this lab. Again, as you can see, the end goal of the project or the video is to essentially educate you on how we can essentially bring data from AWS Glue, uh, sorry, from DynamoDB into S3 using a Glue job, right? Now I know you guys might say, hey, there's a feature called export to S3 on Dynamo. Why would I even do this, right? Well, that's great. It will essentially dump the data in DynamoDB JSON schema, which means if you try to run Athena crawler on that, you won't be able to query the data using a standard SQL, which means you need to run a job to essentially, you know, clean the data, normalize, and then uh, essentially do it, right? So the entire source code is there. I strongly encourage if you want to learn this, download the lab 23, go slowly one by one and try to see the code, what I have done, how I have done, and actually try it out. That's the best way you can learn. And if you get a, have any more questions, let me know your question in the comment section and I'll be very, very happy to answer all your questions. Thank you so much. Happy learning. I hope you will enjoy this lab. So this lab will teach you how to move data from Dynamo to S3, create glue crawlers. Um, so again, as I said, there are a lot of components in, uh, in this project or lab. Uh, Glue crawler is one of them, DynamoDB is one of them, S3 is one of them, deploying Glue script is one of them, and then running everything and then seeing things in action. Thank you so much. Please uh, download the lab and there are a lot other labs if you wanna learn more about serverless framework, AWS, go to my YouTube and I promise you will find a lot of amazing tutorials. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video.